What is going on, everybody? How are you guys doing on this Tuesday, June 1st, 2022? Thank you for joining me here tonight for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Bringing you guys the absolute best in metal-related content here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. If you missed anything in the past week, click the eye, bring down the menu. All the videos are there that you need to get caught up on the latest content. I would definitely appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell down below for all notifications. I'd really appreciate it. You're looking at one of the hardest working channels in the niche of metal on YouTube and the most brutally honest, upfront, opinionated, unfiltered, and critical. If you like that, you're in the right place. If you don't, well, fuck off. Welcome once again to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel. And tonight I'm doing another member request and this one comes to me from my girlfriend Janelle and she has asked for a review of a legendary doom death metal band who hails from the land down under of Australia and some have regarded this album as the doom death metal album that started it all for the genre and I would have to be inclined to agree with this so tonight we are diving into Disembowelment, Transcendence into the Peripheral, released in 1993 on Relapse Records. Before we get into it, however, I'm going to give you guys some background history on these legends. Now, Disembowelment was an Australian death doom band that formed in November of 1989, featuring Renato Galina on guitar and vocals, Paul Maziota on drums, now, in early 91, Jason Kells joined on lead guitar, and at the end of that year, the group's lineup was completed by Matthew Scarajou on bass guitar as well. Now, in 1992, they issued an extended play, Dusk, which was on Relapse Records, and followed up with the studio album Transcendence into the Peripheral in 1993. Now, they disbanded shortly thereafter, never having performed live up until later, and of course, People have described them as revered in underground circles as doom, death, pioneers, and of course, I have to agree with that. Now the lineup, Matthew, Scarajou bass, Paul Maziota drums, Jason Kells guitar, and Renato Galina vocals and guitar. Let's get into the review, shall we? Now the album opens up with the tree of life and death, and the immediate impression that I get from this track is the sense of impending and inevitable doom and hopelessness but also a confused state of paralysis and fear-stricken panic of the monster lurking in the shadows. The atmosphere is nailed perfectly here, and its beastly guitar work, drums, bass, and vocals all combine flawlessly to capture the essence of foreboding and insanity coupled with the crippling overtones of depression and anxiety. Now, the chaos of it all just adds to this nightmarish, horrifying, desolate world that the music embodies. This is a truly captivating opener at 10 minutes and 25 seconds. It's an immersive experience to say the least. This is a great track. Next up, we have Your Prophetic Throne of Ivory. And this one begins with some truly unsettling stirs of dark ambience and the cold sense that you're being pulled into a cosmic void of omnipresence and negation. The instruments lend themselves to the depths of unfathomable conclusions of hopelessness and death embedded on fragments of shattered memories and painful oases of long past experiences that result from deep trauma and lamenting. Now this grows like a festering infected wound that impresses itself deep within the walls of the subconscious mind while delivering its venomous wrath and poisonous grasp fraying your sanity and ebbing its way deep onto your soul as it morphs and shifts through its cataclysmic psychosis and paralyzing doom-laden sections before it frantically blasts into its full-on death metal cannon that renders you battered and torn into shells of emptiness and endless seas of despair ridden anxiety and terror. This is some of the most compelling doom death metal ever conceived. This is an excellent track as well. Next up we have Exoriate and right away it pulls the strings of your sanity further into the black abyss and this is an exercise in straight demented psychotic unraveling of a schizophrenic soaked nightmare. Now this draws forth the emotions of surrealism and disassociation coupled with chaotic rage fueled mania and terror fueled rage. This invokes cacophony and despair simultaneously. 
and how one can even manage to contemplate this, let alone perceive the complexities of such mental atrocious states of mind? Well, the music here really illustrates these primal tendencies and goes far beyond what is palatable to any average person who may be listening to this record. Though I have often asked myself why anyone average and inexperienced in these areas would even bother approaching something like this. It's not meant for people like you, put it that way. Anyways, this is another killer track. Next up, we have the interlude of the album Nightshade of Eden. This is a somber piece of melancholic, cleanly played guitar with some strange female vocals and synths in the background as it's an interesting two minutes of a material that serves as a bridge into the 14 minute mammoth track that's coming up next. All right, so let's check out some of Disembowelment here on Music of Destruction. We're going to listen to some live stuff here. Enjoy. back guys this is a good interlude as well next up we have the 14 minute mammoth a burial at omens and the way this track unfolds is truly something to marvel at okay because to me this is like an event and whether that event is good or bad well i'll let you listen to the track and be the judge yourself this is the epitome of the breakdown of the fabric of perception reality life and the five senses themselves into something much more sinister and de-evolved, if you will. This is the sound of primordial darkness shedding its own skin, so to speak, and reversing the course of the very fabric of human existence down to its finest molecule of the first atom within the universe itself. Yes, this is what the music makes me think of and feel. Each guitar riff, drum beat, vocal snarl and growl, and bass riff just takes you further into this world of unexplainable and unfathomable depths of doom and complete and utter hopelessness, abandonment, as well as all light and positivity gone, only to be left with another realm of shadows and nothingness. But the way it suddenly crashes down into a hellbent fury of blasting insanity is extremely unsettling and disturbing, even terrifying when this happens. This is a really great track and the best on the album for this reason. 
It then bleeds into the spirits of the tall hills, and as if the previous track wasn't intense enough, they deliver again on this compositional descent into utter madness amongst a chorus of cracking necks and lugubrious and uninviting. As it lumbers into its double bass stricken world of mystery and melancholic atmosphere with a strong emphasis on erosion and rotting from within the soul, trapped in an endless woe, longing for an end to what seems like an eternity of pain and dysphoria, which emits from the speakers with perfect crushing blows from the guitar rick and drums and bass, along with the seething venomous vocals that howl and scream out, casting their vile acidic burning sensation deep into the chasm of your psyche. And that's because this album is so goddamn good at what it does in its atmosphere and overall intention. This is truly mesmerizing work and some of the most in-depth, emotionally compiled work on an album to say the least. Excellent track as well. Closing out the album is Seriulian Transients of All My Imagined Shores. And one more to round it out into the full final descent into the psychotic despair-filled void that completes transcendence into the peripheral as this sounds aptly titled because that's exactly what we get here. This evokes those types of things emotionally and where there isn't anything that can really be explained, but it's there. The music here isn't really so much being played as it is being expelled onto the sound waves of time and space where it's picked up directly by the subconscious and then felt on the conscious level because it connects on such a profoundly deep level that explanation becomes almost impossible. And that's how this record will leave you feeling, guys. I can see why this is highly regarded as one of the best doomed death metal albums of all time, because what's here is 59 minutes of something that defies explanation and reason, it simply is. It's primordial, raw despair and hopelessness wrapped into something that one calls metal. But it's definitely a lot more than this, as this is only a surface level description when one says this is doomed death metal. Well, yes, for the layman, that's what this will appear to be, but for someone like me and hopefully you watching, this is an experience, and certainly not one to be taken lightly or overlooked. This album is remarkable and groundbreaking, and it's a damn shame that they only made one full length. Perhaps this is all they needed or felt compelled to create, and the result is astounding. The final verdict for disembowelment transcendence into the peripheral is getting a 10 out of 10. I am buying this. This is essential doom death metal for any fan of this style. All right, guys, so there you have it. Another album review in the books here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for all notifications. Merchandise available. Teespring link in the description. Bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction as well join the channel to become an mod elite show your support you get amazing perks for 4.99 per month con uh exclusive content review requests banner interviews and much more have an awesome night we'll see you for album ranking wednesdays cheers everyone